Hey everyone, welcome back to Music Mania. It's me, Christina, and today I'm back with a brand new concert vlog. And for today's video, I'm gonna be going to Ives concert tonight in Los Angeles at the Forum. I am so, so excited for this show. Um, I've been waiting quite a while. Honestly, the only reason I even am going tonight is because I ended up getting tickets for a little bit cheaper near face value somehow by some stroke of luck. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be time for me to go. But yeah, I'm already up. It's already eight o'clock in the morning right now because I have to go to work today. Uh, I kind of regret not calling out, but it is what it is. And now I have to get all my stuff together because I'm gonna go straight to the venue like right after work. Like first I'm gonna get ready and then like do all my makeup and stuff and put my outfit on. And then I'm gonna head to the venue because it's probably gonna take me a little bit of time to get there. Okay, so now I have to get myself to the car because uh, it's gonna be time for me to go. Cause also to get to work, it takes quite a while, two in the morning when it really shouldn't, but it does. So let me get all my stuff together and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so I finally made it to work uh, 45 minutes later. So that really tells you, because normally it'll take me 20. See, like I said, LA traffic is just, it's just not much fun. But I'm going to go to work now, and then we'll get the day started, the, the day that I want it started. Um, so yeah, let me go do that for the next few hours, and then I will update you guys very, very soon. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so I just got out of work right now. Uh, I felt like that was going to go on for literally forever. So uh, now, finally, is going to be the fun part of the day. And I'm already building up the anticipation. I am so, so nervous. Uh, I have to go get ready, get dressed. And then I'm driving there by myself. So uh, I'm sure this is going to be very fun. So... Let's do this. I need to get ready. I'll show you guys the outfit that I've been teasing on my social medias. Okay, so I finally got dressed and I'm all ready to go. Um, here's a little bit of the outfit reveal. Uh, I'm supposed to be Eugen from the After Like video, so yeah, that's what I dressed up as, so I'm kind of excited. Um, I don't know. It's kind of giving Renaissance tour a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, but the moment is finally hitting me now. Uh, I just went to Target too really quick to go get some stuff for tomorrow. Uh, and then now I'm gonna go, it should take me about an hour, it says an hour and eight minutes, so um, I'm kind of hoping it's that, but knowing traffic right now, because rush hour is about to start, it's probably gonna be a little bit more than that, so fingers crossed, and hopefully we can get to the fun stuff as soon as we can, um, yeah, and I just have to beat out this traffic now, so now let's do this let's go i'm very very excited like it's finally hitting me now that this is happening so uh yeah let's do this two hours later okay after two hours i finally made it i am here just need to get in through now okay i got in a little bit while ago and i have time to kill so i am going in this booth here take some pictures Maybe with the light stick, I don't know, but we'll have to see. Also, there's a lot of things I have to say that happened off camera, so um, I'll get back to you on that whenever I'm done with these pictures. Okay, so I just finished up with that like little photo op thing. Um, it's like one of those like circle things where you have the ring light and the, the camera and it just spins around. That's kind of what it was, so I did that. It was pretty fun. Honestly, right now it's so lit. There's a random dance play going on. Uh, there's lots of people here. I mean, it's only an hour until showtime now because I waited in that line, but uh, so far it's pretty busy. Also, too, a uh, little bit of drama. Um, I First off, getting in security was just... I don't know what was going on. They almost didn't let me in with my bag. And keep in mind, this is the bag size right here. So it's like small enough. I get this in with raves and all the stuff that I go to, right? And the security like literally has the audacity to be like, oh, it's slightly big, so I can't let you in with it. So uh, so then I get a supervisor and she lets me in with it because it was clear. I was like, please just, you know, it's like slightly, it was like literally not even like an inch out of the box that they have. And then she's like, yeah, it's fine because it's clear. I'm like, okay, perfect. So then I had to deal with that. And then also too, uh, I'm low-key kind of disappointed with the forum today because this venue is like really known for having designs on the columns and stuff. And um, I don't see anything really. It's like blank. And then the ones that I have seen, they're, they just say like, I've showed I want tours sold out. That's like literally all it says. So if you see pictures of me like that, 
just know that was because that was literally the only thing I could take a picture of. So yeah, I still have just about an hour now, so I'm going to go get some food and probably get a drink because I'm exhausted already and the show hasn't even started yet. So um, let's go do that. Let's see what I can find because uh, there's stuff around here and then I think the inside now is opened up too. So, uh, oh God, and I still haven't even found where my seat is yet. So, uh, oh boy, let's see how that goes. Okay, as far as food and drinks go, I got a lime margarita. I also got a water just because, you know, stay hydrated. And also I got a cheese pizza. So I'm going to enjoy all of that while I wait because now we have an hour and now I need to go to my seat and find my section. So um, I'm scared now, but also very, very excited. Oh, I feel like the day took so long, especially now with daylight savings time. I feel like the days have just been so long and just, I don't even know. So yeah, let's go. Let's find my seat. Let's see where I'm sitting. This is unbelievable. Oh, this is gonna be fun today. Look at this. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, 10 more minutes until the show starts. Cheers. Oh my God, I'm still obsessing over this. This is crazy. That extended stage. Oh.
us. You know the weather in LA today is so nice. Everything in LA is so nice, guys. Here we go. Woo! Woo! You know, during Shine with Me, I looked at the fronts. Just like the lyrics, it feels like Dive is shining like the stars in the sky. The weather is so nice in LA. I I am a homebody, but I went out yesterday. You know, just like in the movie, I saw some shoelaces up on the... There's sunset and I see statues right in front. It was just like a movie. I was so touched I was crying.
It says exit right there to Kareem. That's basically the way you could get out. So, so uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have to push myself out of the way probably. Those girls killed it tonight. Oh my goodness, I swear. And this is the very first day of the North American part of the tour. Um, if they keep it going like this for the rest of the tour, I have good feelings that they're gonna end it out really good. Um, oh my goodness, that was a lot of fun. The crowd, however, um, that's a different story. And like I said, I'm going to get into it a little bit later, but why come to a concert when all you're going to do is have a sour look on your face and sit the entire time? But anyways, maybe I'm just a dummy or something. I have no idea. But you know what? I'm going to go home now. Um, hopefully it won't take me too long to get back. Right now, the GPS says 35 minutes to my house, so uh, we'll have to see. And then plus, there's a high wind warning at my house right now, so um, yeah, and apparently it's really, really bad from what I've been told. So, you know what? Let me get home. Let me get home safely, and then I'm going to recap everything that happened on camera and off camera because there's quite a lot to go over. All right, so it's been a couple of days since the show happened now. And I feel like I have all my thoughts put together, hopefully. And we'll see how this goes. So, oh man. All right. So just first off, the amount of waiting I had to do, honestly, I don't know how I did it. The day went by so fast. I mean, with me going to work earlier that day and then heading to the forum, which almost took me two hours, by the way. So that really tells you. Um, it was a lot. So... 
I'll say this. First of all, I think I got there around um, like 5.15 or so, somewhere around there. So I park and I walk over to where the entrance is. And now keep in mind, they had the outside terrace open at 5. So I was like, oh, you know what? Like, let me see if there's any merch. Now, me personally, I wanted the photo cards. And of course, of course, as I got inside, and even before that, um, getting my bag in there, I took a clear ba bag with me. I take like a small clear fanny pack because now every single arena in Los Angeles, I mean, I don't know how it is everywhere else, but every single arena in Los Angeles now wants you to basically bring nothing in. And they only want clear small bags. Or if, you know, if bags at that at certain points. So I brought in my small, like, clear fanny pack. And they all didn't let me in with it. I was like, I don't even know what was going on. I get up there to security and he's like, oh, you can't bring it in. And I'm like, I'm like please. It's like literally, it, they literally had it measured on the table. Like, there's like a box, like, measured on the table. And that's like what you can bring in. So at that point, I'm like, please, that's like literally just right outside the line. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was like a tiny bit out, right? And so a nice supervisor then later came out and she's like, you know what? You're fine. It's clear anyway. So I was like, you know what? Perfect. Thank you. So I walk in, get my ticket scanned, right? Then, like I was saying, I head to the merch and there's no photo cards left. Well, at any of them. And keep in mind, there's probably around like six merch booths all throughout the forum on the outside. So that really tells you I cannot get a single pack. So that already I knew was kind of a bad sign. That was like the only other thing I wanted as far as merch goes. I was considering getting the shirts, but then I remember that I'm going to other events this month and I'm like, I cannot spend that money right now. So it is what it is, right? So. At that point, then, I take an entire lap around the entire venue because that entire venue is a circle, so you just circle back around anyway. So I walk around, and I find that, that like, booth that you guys saw on the video. Now, I thought at first it was just, like, a photo booth where you take pictures, and it was actually one of those, like, video booths where you have, like, the phone and the ring light and it circles around and you can do poses and stuff. Um, it was really, really fun to do, and I got a good video, and I already have it uploaded on my shorts page over here on YouTube and everywhere else on my social media, so... Yeah, if you've seen it, you've seen it. So after that video, I decided to go get food because at that point, I've like been so used to going to the forum. Actually, the very last time I was at the forum was for the Paramore show, which I basically went, you know, that that show right there, uh, where I basically went on like a almost a 22-hour bender. So uh, yeah, good thing vlog that because honestly that was probably one of the craziest days of my life i'm not even gonna lie so yes i got sidetracked but basically i went to go get food um there's like a little like grab and go station where you can like scan your card in and it lets you in and you can pretty much get whatever you want and then you pay for it like you just go on your way out pretty much so i got all my stuff then my view right I'm going to just say this right now. The only places I have sat in the forum have been in the 200 section, like on top and floor. Those are like the only places I've been. So polar opposites of each other, right? But I've never, ever been in the lower bowl before that show. And now I just want to be in that section all the time because, oh my goodness, that view was crazy. I walked in and my jaw was like on the floor. Like that extended stage, I could see so well. During the show, I can literally see their faces. So like, now we get on to the show, right? Oh boy, here we go. This is what I was, yeah. I'm gonna just say it right now. That crowd sucked. The LA crowd sucked so bad. And now I'm not saying this about everybody i'm definitely not because i'm sure a good like 80 percent of the crowd was hyped up i floor floor was all hyped i wish i could have been down there with them i wish i would have forked out the extra money to go be with them because they seemed like they were having a great time lower bowl on the other hand i don't know about um 
up there with the 200s. Um, I'm sure some of them were having good fun as well. But 100, it sucked really bad. There, people are sitting. I'm sorry, who sits? Who sits when 11 is playing? Who sits when Batty is playing? Who sits when Hypnosis? Hypnosis is playing. The absolute audacity and disrespect. I feel like a lot of people that were there at that show were either casual fans or just not even fans at all, but they were just were saying that they went to this show so that they could say that they went. Because that was not like I'm so like I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. I looked at my section and the section on my left and even a little bit on my right too, I looked and mostly everyone that's in front of me, because keep in mind, I'm in the back. So it's just me in another row. Now the people behind me were also standing up. So I stood up. It was just like me and the like those three in the back of like the back of me that were standing up and everyone else just sat. I'm like, what are you sitting for? Now I get it. Like I understand if you're sitting, like, whenever the, like, intermissions and stuff are going on, like, when they're showing, like, things on the screen and all that, I understand, right? Or even, like, whenever they're just talking, like, the speeches and stuff, right? I understand that. But then they're still sitting. Like, get up. Get up. They're performing energetic songs. The entire group did fantastic. I was literally screaming and dancing so much that my arms are still a little bit sore from waving them around and jumping. I don't know what it was, but that crowd, the, the at least the lower bowl, like a good chunk of you, really sucked. And I hope like you don't come back to the next door. But it's not even like they were sitting and enjoying themselves. Because some people were... Like, I saw that, too. But some people literally had the most blank expression on their face and were either filming the entire concert or just sitting there. And I'm like, at that point, why did you come? Also, why did you spend the money to come? Because I know for sure I still paid, you know, a good amount of money to be in a lower bowl seat. So I'm sure the rest of them did, too, if not probably more than what I paid, because I paid under face value for my ticket, just saying. But especially if you're spending the money to go be there, why are you there? And just having, like, the most blank expression on your face, like, that is something I truly do not understand about this new generation. I don't I don't get it. I almost cussed. Oh, my... That's how angry I am. Like, I don't know what it is, but it just... I don't know, man. Like, especially during some of the songs, like some of the most hyped songs, you're sitting. Like, I don't get it. But yeah, shout out to the ones that were hyped. I can hear you guys throughout the venue and just all over the place. You guys know who you are. But honestly, like I said, I wish I would have spent the extra money to go get a floor seat because floor looked hyped and they looked like they were having the most amount of fun especially considering the amount of money that they probably spent so good for them now on to the group itself right i'm gonna say this i honestly enjoyed the show a lot more than i thought i would i knew i was gonna enjoy it but not to the extent that i did my favorite performances were by far cherish cherish is that song hypnosis Can we talk about that performance too? Because that film that they show right before they perform that song is actually kind of scary and it was really good. And now I'm gonna be the number one advocate for them having a horror concept or a horror comeback at some point because now I see that they can do it and I want it now. And then of course we also have um, Batty. I really like Batty. I don't care what anyone else says. You know, I'm, a, a lot of people don't like that song of theirs. I like that song. Also, then after, like, because that's my favorite title track of theirs, so. Yeah. Oh, also, um, also the sad part of the entire show, whenever they sang Shine With Me and Either Way, I almost, behind the camera, I didn't even show you guys, I was almost crying when Either Way was started playing, so.
So you can really know I went through all of the emotions just being at this one show, and that really tells you how good of a show it was. All right, guys, that is in the day's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, and also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I appreciate it so, so much what you did. Also, check out all my social media accounts, all of them up on the screen for you. Definitely go follow and check out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!